So Google recently released a new update to Docs and Sheets called Approvals. This can be really useful for those of you in management uh, administration, or it could also be useful for teachers whenever you need to approve certain things that your students are doing. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So we're starting with a Google Doc, and as you can see, I've created a fake school purchase request. And all I have to do is now I need to send it off to my principal or whoever's going to approve it. So I'm going to click on Approvals, File, and Approvals. And this window to the side will pop up, and I can make a request. Now I can add myself, my other account to approve. I can add a message if I need to. I can have a due date saying, hey, I need it by Monday, certain time. That's fine. We're going to say OK. Now I can also say um, allow approvals to edit this file, or I can lock the file before sending the approval request. Now one of the things that is really useful is right down here if something is edited. So let's say I needed the principal and the superintendent and the financial officer to approve this. If one of them changes it, even if the other have approved it, it will reset it and they will need to reapprove it. So I don't have to get in, caught up in the emails of back and forth. Well, I know you said yes, but somebody changed it. So here's the new version. Can you approve this one? No, it automatically keeps track of that for you. So this can be really useful on the management side. I'm just going to have one approver my, myself, so I'm going to send request. And it's going to ask, what do you want the person to be able to do? Comment is good for me. If I wanted them to edit, I could give them those rights. Um, I could also turn on link sharing from here. I'm just going to leave it the way it is, and I'm going to click send. And this person's outside. That's fine. And now it's sending off. So it's showing the process. I have sent it to this person with a time, and it's pending approval. Cut this part out. Now about a minute later, I pull up the other account, and here it is. Approval request for fake purchase request. All I have to do is click on here to get this. Before I go there, though, I want to show you something that I did that I think would be really useful. I know principals and superintendents, they get approval requests all the time. What I would suggest is setting up a due date for approvals of the week. Going, hey, I need them by Wednesday at noon or Friday before you leave. I will approve them then. So if you notice, I've created a, an approvals label here. And I created a filter to where I told it to skip the inbox, apply the label approvals, and mark it as important. And it will do this for all approvals because the email that it comes from is approvals-non-reply non at google.com. So anything from this will automatically go into that, that approvals label. So I could sit down and do these at one time instead of having my inbox filled up with approvals throughout the week. So just a suggestion, but I do think that would be a great way to help manage when and how you do approvals. Just a suggestion. So let's go ahead and open up this approval form. And as soon as I open it up, you're going to see this pending approval show up at the top. I can approve it. I can reject it. I can view the details, which right now, there, there's really nothing in here. All that's happened so far is the request has been made, and now the ball is in my court. I can go ahead and just leave a comment and approve or reject it right here, or I can come into this form and really review it. So I'm going to come here, and I'm going to highlight this, and I'm going to add a comment. I think your math is wrong which it is intentionally, so I would have a comment to make. And because of that, I'm going to reject it, and it's going to say, hey, do you want to add a message? I'm going to say, see comments in document, and I'm going to go ahead and click reject. So now we can see the request for approval was sent. It's been rejected just now. 
There we go. Now I'll go back to the original sender. So I just opened up my uh, email from the requester. Got a nice little email, approval rejected. Right there, see comments and documents. So I can just go into the document and look at it. And I think your math is wrong. Oh yeah, that should be 175. So I can make that change. Add the little dollar sign. Good to go. Now, I can open and see if there are any more details. Um, but there's no current version of this. Why? Because as soon as I made that edit, it has basically started off to where it's a, it needs to be a new one. Now, there is an approved version of this file, which I can view. And I can open that up. I can see everything that was discussed in a previous version. But I don't have to get bogged down in 20 emails of back and forth, accept, reject, change this, can we add that? It keeps it nice and neat. So again, from a management standpoint, I can truly see how this would just be amazing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new request. I'm going to add the same approvers that I would have before. Uh, same due date, I think I made it the 13th. And I'm going to send the request. Now, not only did I get another email, so it keeps track of the whole process, but more importantly, inside of here, inside the document, I get the option to approve or reject it again. So they fixed this. I like it now. I'm going to go ahead and approve it. I could add messages. I'm not going to. I'm going to approve it. And here's where the magic starts. This file is now locked. So I'm going to reload it to view it. But now I can't make changes. This is an approved version, the, late, the last approved version. So the creator, the editors can unlock it, but the approvers cannot. So this is, this is the official form as it was approved. No, no question of whether or not somebody came in and changed something after it was approved. It's locked. As a viewer, I can't unlock it. So no intentional or accidental revisions once it has been approved. So that's really nice. As the creator, I'm going to reload it. It's also locked, even from me from editing it. However, as the editor, as the creator of the file, I could unlock it. But if I unlock it, you can see I've got this little pop-up that says approved version available. This document was previously approved and may have been modified. And this is the same thing that the approver will see as well. So they can go back version history and see what's going on, what changes have been made. I can look and view details. Uh, same feature of approvals is available in slides. So... Here's roughly the same file, just done in, uh, not slides, but sheets, I, excuse me, Google Sheets. Um, roughly the same file, just done to where it would self-calculate. Again, here, same math mistake, so I'm going to change that to 175. And there's my corrected math. By the way, this form got approved with the wrong total. It happens. <laughs> so, all I'd have to do is come to File go to approvals, and it's the same process. So hopefully this is useful. I'm, I know I've focused on like a purchase request as my example, but you could use this for any kind of request, whether that's personal leave or uh, field trip permissions, uh, like a, a teacher proposing a, a field trip. Teachers could really use this with students for things like projects, if you wanted the students to get approval before they started their project. Or it could be a way to track their progress along the way. So rough draft, have them approve the rough draft before they start working on the final draft, and you can kind of see those comments and how they address them. So there's a lot of ways that you could use this both in the classroom and from the administrative standpoint. There are a lot of minor approvals that administration and teachers have to do on a daily basis. So, so give this a try and see if it works for you. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please like this video and subscribe to see more content like it. Thank you so much for watching.